Hi there everybody, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. And today is Vlogmas Day 5. Here in Alabama, it has been a rainy, cold day. Uh, it only got up to like 50 degrees today. So, I mean, it's not like we had to wear a heavy coat or anything, but still colder than I wanted it to be. But, uh... That's just the way the weather was here today. I wish we would get snow. I miss snow. I was born and raised in the Chicago area, so I know what snow is, and I don't want it every day, but it'd sure be nice to get some once in a while. Of course, with the way things here are in Alabama, if they even mention that there's going to be snow in three days' time, they shut the schools and the shelves are completely empty. I mean, you can't find anything at the store. Just at the mention that there might be snow in three days. That's just the way it is in the South. I mean, you go and you rush and you get all this food and everything, but if it snows that bad, it's just as likely to be like if it was a hurricane or a tornado or something, you're going to lose power. Then you're just going to have more stuff spoil. I would err on the side of caution, making sure I have plenty of dry good things and like cans of soups and crackers and things like that. But we, we don't worry here. Some people carry it to the extreme, but we're cool. Hey, as long as we got uh, Coke, Diet Coke, stand back and cigarettes, we're good to hook. We can make it through anything. Of course, coffee helps too. And, uh, like I said, it's been a rainy, yucky day, so I've just really been in the house all day long. I've been sitting at my craft table, just uh, piddling and playing, and I've been watching videos, and um, finally have got started on my first Traveler's Notebook, and when I get it all done and completed, I'll certainly upload it so that all of y'all can see it and know what it turned out like. And, you know, slowly but surely I get to uh, get all the different fancy gadgets and tools that everybody that is a paper crafter already has. And I'm new to this. Well, only about a year now. So it's uh, I have to gather stuff slowly as I can afford it. Well, I went out yesterday to the thrift stores and I was looking for a desk chair because when I moved from uh, Houston back to Alabama, I wasn't able to bring my desk chair. It was like the executive kind with the big tall back and everything. And very comfortable. Loved that chair. But I just did not have room. We were packing my what furniture I could bring and all my personal things in the back of my brother's Tacoma truck and the back of my sister's uh, trunk in her car. And it just... So a lot of stuff just got left and got put in storage out in Texas. So anyways, long story short, I was out yesterday looking for uh, a desk chair. And I went to the what they call the downtown rescue mission. They have them all over the Huntsville area and the surrounding, you know, outlying cities and stuff. They have them. And uh, they didn't have anything. So then I went, uh, went to the Goodwill and I was able to find one. It's, it's it's got a back, it's got arms, and it rolls and it it twists, you know. So there's no problem there, and I got it for seven dollars. So you know, like I said, it's not as good as the one I had, but it certainly beats not having anything to sit at at all. I was sitting at a lawn chair at my desk, and of course I was sitting too low, so I was having a hard time doing anything, which is why I went looking for a chair. And then I also found a little like maybe two and a half foot tall, maybe one foot wide, three-tier bookshelf. And I got that. It was only $5. And what's great about that is it fits right up underneath my craft table. It stays out of the way, and I can load much more junk on it. Because, Lord, have I got some junk and no place to put it. Well, anyways, when we were at the downtown rescue mission in that strip mall, right next door to it is a Tuesday morning. And I don't go in there very often. Of course, I don't run to that end of town too often. So I thought, well, what the heck, I'll go look. Because, you know, sometimes you can find some good crafting stuff in there. And I said all that to say this, that, you know, I need some new tools. And I found a fuse tool. Now... 
if you're not a paper crafter or or something like that, you wouldn't really know what uh, you use a fuse tool for. But like you can make what they call shaker pockets that they're all sealed up and they got like little sequins and things in it, you know, and glitter. And you put them in junk journals or in pocket letters, things like that. And this is a We Are Memory Keepers one. And you can pair it at $29.99. And I was able to get it for $9.99. For, so for a $20 saving. And I was just tickled to death to get it. I was smart this time. I never opened anything ahead of time. But this time I did. I opened up the back of it. Now we're going to take it out and look at it and see what we got here. Okay, maybe I didn't take enough of it out. Okay, there we go. Well, it's the fuse tool with the plug in. It's got two tips to it. I don't know if you can see that. And a place to rest it when you've got it turned on and you're not using it. And the metal guide so that you know exactly where to fuse right there. So I haven't used it yet, but I will definitely be using it in making my traveler notebooks and uh, like uh, what they call dashboards and things like that for it. So for $10, I was just tickled to death with my little find. And that's all I got while I was out shopping. Of course, it was, like I said, it was that. And then it was the desk chair and the little storage cabinet to put under my desk. I know this; these are not very exciting vlogmases, but... I'm just trying to give y'all a little insight into my day-to-day -day life. And uh, I see in the background my <laughs> dresser drawer is, yeah, not so nice and neat. But, uh, oh well. At least it's lived in and it's loved. It's certainly loved by me at any rate. And my dog is laid up on the bed, and I don't know what she's doing, but she's up there being crazy. All right, I'd like to remind everybody to please subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I upload future videos. Please like and comment. I really enjoy looking for, looking at the comments and seeing what people have to say. If you've got any suggestions for me how I can improve my videos, uh, something you want me to talk about or a question you want to ask me, just go ahead and jot it down and I'll certainly be happy to do whatever I can about it. And again, remember my motto, not my circus and not my monkeys. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.